we're gonna go for a little swim. I'm super stoked. We're here in Souk, British Columbia. Let's just go for a little snorkel. I won't be long. It's freezing. It's like six degrees, but look at this gold mine already. Check it out. Okay, so we plunk our face into the water and right away we see green sea fern and sargassum, this Japanese wire weed. Honestly, I literally put my face in the water and I just see this amazing diversity of seaweeds. It's so rad. This eel grass is so fresh, you can tell it's brand new. And the white little things on there, those are little baby snails. So fresh and so clean. So we move in and look, I paused it here because this feather boa kelp literally is like as if it was a feather boa wrapped around your neck. And those little bulbs on them, those are their little floats that help it stay near the surface. Closing around, oh my goodness. I honestly am at awe right now. I'm literally awing, and you can't tell, but I'm giggling underwater. I'm literally looking through this, and I'm like, this cathedral of, of boa kelp is so beautiful. Look at it. Isn't it amazing? Now, I'm actually here at low tide, which is why this seaweed is so droopy. Normally, it would be much more straight up because of the tide kind of picking it up. This here was a very cool uh, discovery that I didn't know about. I thought this was a sea palm, but it's not. It's actually a bull kelp. These are young sea bull kelp plants that are still growing up. They have this awesome big bulb that helps them stay near the surface. This is some more boa kelp. And here I am cruising around. This one I had to look up. This seaweed is called a winged kelp. Wait for it, winged kelp. And it, you can tell because it has that rib down the center of the blade. Okay, so we come across this super cute little snail or dog winkle. I actually can't really tell because you can only tell by picking them up. But it's super adorable, just hung in a, hanging out right in that little crevice. Oh my goodness, this is a plumose anemone. And then wait, wait, I give it a little boop, boop. <laughs> and then this ultimately, you see what happens? It kind of closes up. That's its defense mechanism uh, in order to keep uh, away from predators. That's a beautiful limpet. And again, cruising through the eel grass, hanging out in this like little nook. Honestly, I didn't go very far. And of course, what you can see here is these are purple urchins, but you can see what's not there is any kelp anymore. Purple urchins eat kelp and they are cruising around like little bulldozers, little lawnmowers. And you can see right at the edge, that's why I pause it here. You can see that that's ultimately where they have just been. They are like about to mow down all the seaweed that I just pointed out. This is a beautiful rainbow sea star. And then I paused here because look at all this cool color. We've got that beautiful red anemone. We've got the purple urchins, the green eelgrass. Honestly, this place was just a... Uh, uh, it was so, so stunning, the whole place. Okay, and then this thing is a sweet little, straight for it, mossy chitin. So the mossy chitin has these little edges, these little bones in its back, and that is actually one of their bones, right? So this is from a dead one, but look on the other side, it is so brilliantly white underneath, but there's moss growing on it. So beautiful. It looks like a perfect little, like, butterfly wing or something. Anyway, I put it back, and I keep cruising, and what else do we see here? Oh, and then this is when I came across an awesome little um, a kelp crab hanging out, of course, in the kelp. And then there we go. I got a good look at its face a little bit there. It's got a tiny little pincher, so it's perfectly designed to be able to crawl through that very delicate uh, kelp. And then this was uh, the most one of the coolest uh, species I saw. Check out this iridescent seaweed or rainbow seaweed. It was so bright and shiny, and it literally there was lots of it actually couple little spots but look at how it just shines in the in the sun it was so awesome anyway that's my husband he was my lifeguard never swim alone folks oh my god i saw so many different types of um of kelp and seaweed i saw eat like grasses oh so much amazing stuff right there right there honestly where you wouldn't even see it god i really wish that the ocean that you could see through the water that you could like see through the surface because you would see how much epic stuff is down there even though it's like just there and you'd be like oh nothing much just some rocks no there is like chock full of life and that is the whole issue is that we just need to get slightly underneath the surface to be able to take a look oh my god it was so fun <laughs>